Hello, Reward Clinicians. This is Ali Nesse, and it's time for another uh, Friday question session. I'm here in the middle of Boston Common. We've had a, quite a bit of blizzard over the past few days, and uh, I figured what's a better time to answer uh, your Friday questions, but right now in the middle of the snow. Anyway, this, this week's question comes to us regarding the recent case-based learning module number 14 that I posted, which was a case of intentional replantation. And the question was, what are some of the post-off instructions and uh, whether antibiotics are required uh, after doing a uh, intentional replantation case uh, on a patient? That's a great question, so let's get to it. Okay, so we know that the best uh, success rate with intentional implantations is really uh, as a result of proper case selection. And if you do choose the correct case, one that is not periodontally involved and one that is uh, where the problem is purely due to apical leakage, has nothing to do with coronal leakage, there is no cracks or fractures and the bone support around the tooth is actually adequate, that you're, uh, you know, you're going to have fairly good uh, outcomes. And in fact, there was a very recent article in the JOE that followed up some of these um, success and failure studies on intentional implantation, and they found that the success rate, if the tooth comes out intact without uh, breaking the root or taking off the crown, uh, during a very atraumatic extraction technique that the tooth will actually have about a 90% uh, success rate. And that's basically been my experience as well. I've done quite a bit of these and I found that the success rate of 80 to 90% if a good extraction protocol has been used is basically what is to be ex expected. So uh, what you end up needing to do postoperatively with these patients is twofold. Number one, whether you need to use antibiotics, this really follows the same protocol as avulsions. Uh, for avulsions, currently the uh, recommended uh, treatment is to use antibiotics post-op, and I certainly recommend to use them for intentional replantation cases as well. And uh, to that extent, it is uh, I use penicillin, PenVK, as my first choice for about uh, you know, one, about seven days to seven to 10 days. And, uh, you know, if somebody's allergic to penicillin, you can always use either clindamycin 